Paul Cook, thanks very much for joining us. Paul, welcome to York. You've joined the Knights as assistant coach. How delighted are you to be here at the club? Yeah, absolutely. Um, been a long time out of it, really. Um, sorted some, you know, some issues out at home with family and kids and everything settled down. And um, whilst I've not got back into it for them reasons, when Andrew rung me and came over to meet him and Clint, it was... Um, it felt the right fit for me and that's really important and I'm really glad to be back here amongst the players. Uh, first week this week with the first team in, last week we had some of the younger players in and that was good to, to, to put some names to faces uh, and get on with the job. Yeah. What, what was it about York that made you want to come here? Why was uh, it the nights that you know took you out of this sort of breakaway from coaching? Yeah, it had to be something that was uh, unique for me and special. Uh, it, it couldn't just be a run-of-the-mill thing for me. There's a long-term vision at the club. You know, when I met with, with Endo and Clint, um, you can see the passion that they both got for, for the city and, and making the Knights a top team. Um, the IMG system allows them to, to, to commercially get things right and marketing-wise and everything else. Um, the team on the field are performing. Uh, it's not a, a team which is you know, going to be battling and, uh, and scrapping down any, any kind of bottom of the table. We're, we're looking to improve and get better. Um, and the long-term vision of the club's a big one. You know, the, the, you look at the, the girls' team and, and, and everything else are, around the club is, is all, you know, booming. So we're, we're ready to take off and it's a case of now of, of getting in there and doing the job. Yeah. What did you make of watching the team last season under Hendo? Obviously, it was a fantastic run towards the end of the year to, yeah. to get into the playoffs. Yeah, the, that's sort of when I had the, the initial chat with Clint and Hendo was when the, the, the look like not making the playoffs in any which way, shape or form, it looked like a miracle would have to happen. And then... You know, over them few weeks, the miracle did happen. I was constantly in touch with, you know, Clinton and Endo then. Uh, rough patch for the middle of the year, obviously, uh, with injuries and everything else that hit the team. It's something that we've got to look at and try and manage as a, as a staff. You know, it's great to be to be back in amongst it and having them conversations. Obviously, there's Jed, who's a very experienced assistant coach too, really enjoying picking his brain and getting to know what uh, he's, he's about and where he's been and, and the players that he's coached and, and ideas that he's got. So, um yeah, it's, it's, it's a club that needs to thrive, isn't it? And, and there's, a, there's an area around here in York where uh, it needs to be tapped into and that's the long-term vision of the club and I'm really delighted to be a part of that. You touched on Jed, obviously, this yeah. appointment obviously comes alongside Jed as well as Hendo and, and Will as well and yeah, having the really strong backroom staff can obviously only help the lads on the field. Yeah, absolutely. Jed's been great with me, as has Will. Uh, Will's really helped as well. Um, you know, there's a there's a real trust amongst the staff, which is really important in, in any coaching staff. Um you know, that we all get along and, and we all, you know, challenge each other and throw ideas at each other. So, you know, Will especially, as, as well as Jed, have, have been great to, for me to come in. It's important that, um, you know, there's no threats amongst anybody. It's really important to me that, that they know that I'm coming in to be part of the team, not not anything else. And, and I just want to play a small part, if I can, in in, in a, a massive cog, if you like, that, that way York gets better. Just finally, how much are you looking forward to getting stuck into pre-season now and uh, getting started in 2024? Yeah, it's much easier when you're not playing, uh, that is for certain. So, you know, getting amongst the players, it's not just about that for me, it's about getting to know the players and, and, and seeing what makes them tick, what they need to improve on, you know, l looking at their core skills and uh, any communication, you know, whatever it may be. It's just nice to be back in and amongst it with the players. You know, the players have been great as well. I know some of them, coach some of them in the past. Um, it's a good group of players, there's no egos amongst it. It's all about the team. Uh, and we're having a good time up to now. This is the end of week one and we're looking forward to the next seven or eight weeks before we start playing.